Introducing Maryland's new 2018 report card. Maryland has been working hard to help improve school accountability. In this brief video, you will get acquainted with the new look of the school report card and learn about what has changed about our state school and school district accountability system. What does the Maryland report card include? The redesigned report card has established the key indicators of school performance. Those indicators are academic achievement, academic progress, graduation rate, progress in achieving English language proficiency, readiness in post-secondary success and school quality, and student success. The report card also includes information about schools throughout the state. Users can view their neighborhood school and also performance of schools throughout Maryland. What's new in the Maryland School Report Card for 2018? The Maryland Report Card includes a number of new elements. First, it contains those indicators of school performance mentioned earlier. Let's review the indicators more closely. The Academic Achievement Indicator describes student performance on state standardized tests in English Language Arts and Math. This indicator is measured in elementary, middle, and high school. The Academic Progress Indicator describes how student performance has grown compared to previous years on state standardized tests in English Language Arts and Math. It includes the percent of students earning credit in core coursework. In future years, it will also include performance on state tests in science and social studies. This indicator is measured in elementary and middle schools only. Graduation rate indicator includes the percent of students who earn a Maryland high school diploma in four years and in five years. This indicator is high school specific. Progress in achieving English language proficiency indicator reports the percent of a school's English learner students who are on track towards achieving proficiency in the English language. This indicator is measured in elementary, middle, and high school. Readiness for post-secondary success is another high school indicator only. This indicator describes the percent of ninth graders who earn at least four credits in core academic coursework and the percent of students who complete high school meeting a variety of standards beyond their required coursework. The school quality and student success indicator includes the percent of students who are not chronically absent and who are enrolled in a well-rounded curriculum. In future years, it will also include the results of a school survey. This indicator is measured in elementary, middle, and high school. The second new element in the 2018 Maryland School Reports are the new ways of reporting a school's final score. The new school report card will show how many points a school earned based on its performance within the indicators, and now also includes a star rating from one lowest to five highest. The new report card gives a school's percentile rank, which compares a school's performance to other Maryland schools. The Maryland Report Card website and school report cards are first and foremost for parents and their children. Parents can use a school's report card to understand a school's performance and progress. It can be used to spark ideas on how to help strengthen a school by holding school leaders responsible for its performance, regardless of the score it received. After viewing the school's report, ask yourself, are you satisfied with the way the school performed overall? Are there particular components that you are concerned about? Ask the principal and school leaders, what are the plans to improve school performance? What are the plans for closing achievement gaps? How will the community be informed about improvement efforts? Ask the district leaders, how are they making sure that school leaders have the resources and supports they need? How are they holding schools responsible for making improvements? How to find your Maryland school report card. You can view state data or view a specific school or school's district data. Selecting districts and schools in the main navigation will take you to a page where you can select a school from a list organized by city or county. Three key homepage callouts allow you to jump to state data or view district data. A search field in the third allows you to jump to a specific school by searching for school name. Additional resources that will help you better understand your school report card. Still need help understanding the new school report card? We can help with our Help Guide section on our website. Available for download on our website are a user's guide for a detailed explanation of the accountability indicators, measure calculations, glossary of terms, and more, an accountability overview sheet, mm -hmm. and explanations of elementary, middle, and high school accountability measure calculations. 
we encourage you to visit the Maryland Report Card website today. Learn about what has changed about our state school and school district accountability system and see how your school has performed. We encourage you to use all of the tools at your disposal in considering school quality. The new report card supports ongoing work to improve school performance.